Chef Arsini, what's on the menu? Today we're making a chicken pollard with summer salad. Okay, so I'm thinking there's chicken in this and yes. there's what? Salad fixins? Yeah, romaine lettuce. Okay. Um, salt and pepper like always. A little bit of a herb mix of oregano, thyme, and rosemary. A little bit of parsley for garnish. Um, red and yellow bell peppers, tomatoes, and a balsamic vinegar vinaigrette. Okay, what do we do? Where do so we start? So first, we're going to get our pams, both of our pans warmed up to medium heat. Okay. Add in a, a tad bit of olive oil. And then we're going to get our chicken pollards. Now these are... What is a chicken pollard? A chicken pollard is a thinly cut chicken breast that has been sandwiched in between two, uh, two pieces of plastic wrap and been very carefully pounded out with a ch kitchen mallet. And why would you want to beat your chicken up with the mallet? Makes it very tender, makes it very thin, so it's very quick to cook. That makes sense, okay. And it looks like maybe you've already done that here? Yeah, I've already did it ahead of time. I'm gonna just sprinkle a little bit of salt and pepper. You don't want to put in too much because they're very, very thin. You, you want to make sure- You can always put more on, but you can't take that it off. That is right. <laughs> Now, and what's that? No, this is not This is the, our herb mix. The trick here is that you want to cover it on one side, place it on the pan mm -hmm. with the herb side down, mm -hmm. and then add more herbs up top. That way Got it. it's easier to cook. Oh, they are very thin, aren't they? Yeah, they're almost, they're, you have to be, yeah, they're very, very... Pretty careful with it. Yeah. They seem almost delicate. Yeah, you got to be very careful with them because they're, I cut them very thin because you want them to cook pretty quick. So herb side down. Herb side down. Add in a little bit more herbs. See, they're almost done. Yes, those are cooking, cooking very, yeah. very fast. Well, while they're cooking, what are we going to be doing? So while they're cooking, I'm going to cut some of our lettuce for the uh, romaine, the summer salad. Get now that sizzling. Yeah, you can turn it down if you would like. You're trusting me over here? I am trusting you with the heat this time around. <laughs> I'm trying not to mess it up. So we're cutting the romaine, is that it? Yeah, I'm cutting it into smaller chunks. Now you could either tear it or you can cut it either way, but in this case we're just going to be cutting it. We're going to place it into our mixing bowl. No. And how did you come up with this recipe? My mom used to make a version of chicken pollard when we were in Russia. Mm -hmm. and. You know, she used to make it with very hearty root vegetables because it's very cold. In Russia, yeah. In Russia, yeah. So what kind of vegetables did she use? Um, she used beets, carrots, potatoes. Potatoes, potatoes, potatoes are popular potatoes in Russia. Are very popular. Sure. Yeah. Should we turn this over? Yeah, definitely. It's getting to that point. I'm gonna do it carefully. See how oh, it's, nice. It's, it's, it's got a really nice brown to it. Yes, it's beautiful. One. And it smells good already. See, this one will stay a little bit longer. Can you oh, maybe I should up? turn that one up yeah. now. <laughs> you trusted me that maybe you should. Yeah. Have. Add in a little bit of our tomatoes. Okay, so you've got the red and, and yellow bell peppers yeah. in there, and now tomato. Got now, it. This is the trick right here. We're going to add, we're going to drench it in balsamic vinegar and olive oil. Well, see, that looks like a lot for just that little bit of salad. There. I will show you why in a little bit. So there's a secret involved there's in this. There's always a secret. There's always, there's always a secret. There's always I secrets. should know that, I guess. Great. Well, it smells really good. Now, when would we cook, or when would we serve this? Um, I mean, this is great for, you know, for garden parties, for pretty much most, most occasions. It seems like it's going to be very light since that chicken is so thin and, and the um, yeah. dressing is, is, you know, so nice and light. Really good for brunches. You Makes know, sense. I mean, yeah. Makes sense. Now we're almost ready. so good. All right, so. We could switch the pans around too if we want, or maybe it doesn't matter. Yeah, they're both. Actually, yeah, let's do. Let's go with this one first. Okay, we're gonna plate up. Yeah. Excellent. So we're gonna place the chicken on the bottom. Uh huh. And then we're gonna place some of the salad up top. Now you're putting the salad on top. What's this going on here? So remember how I told you about the secret earlier? The trick yes. with this is that um, the balsamic vinaigrette with all of the juices from the from the veggies will will absorb into the chicken as it drenches down. And the heat is coming up, and it smells so wonderful. So it gives it it gives it a nice combination and a nice fusion of things. Which that makes a lot of sense. 
So how tricky is that to put the chicken on the bottom? I've never heard of anything like that. I was expecting that it was just going to be sort of a, a chicken salad, but this is really special. Yeah, you don't want to put in too Very much. I mean, this, this is a good, you know, this is a really, really nice brunch item. And it's a, a Californication. California. Yeah, Californication. That is correct. <laughs> That's, that was one of the things. Of a Russian dish. Yeah, we called it, when, when, when we moved in here, I, my mom was very happy when I, when I created this dish. Now for just a couple of more seconds, parsley. Parsley is mm. a good garnish. You use that a lot, I Yeah, guess. I do. Great. Well, here so we go. here right. we have it then, our uh -huh. chicken pilar. And it's just lovely and delicious, and I think we should have some. Yeah, definitely, let me. You got some cooking up there? Yeah. Make sure to get all the veggies. And not just the chicken? Not just the chicken, <laughs> yeah. Here you go. Thank you. Uh-huh. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. Oh, that's very good. Thank you so much. Sure. Thank you for joining us on a quest for healthy eating. The complete recipes for this show and all our previous shows are posted on our website at www.chefarsini.com. And please send any recipes you'd like to see us make on our show to suggestions at chefarsini.com. Join us for future episodes and thank you for watching Cooking with Arsini. Eat well and be well. I'm Arsini.